Hey, it's The Average Dan, and I'm just going to show you a quick video on how to replace the batteries in this uh, Razor uh, Pocket Motorcycle. Um, as you can see, there is, right in the center there, we have the two batteries. This case normally sits up like so, and then it just has some, uh, some screws. There's one here, one on the opposite side, and then one dead center on the bottom. So you want to take out all those screws and this whole thing will slide forward. All right, so to remove those screws, we actually used a 3 16 inch uh, Allen head. Um, it seems a little bit loose, so you might be able to go, go a size up, but that's uh, what we had. We actually got these batteries as we were leaving the house to head out for uh, a weekend camping. So we're kind of doing this out in the woods trying to, to gather up the right tools. So. Um, everything I thought I had in my uh, toolbox in the back of the truck is not there, so we're making do. But anywho, you have those three screws, and once you take those three screws off, I'll show you how this plastic case moves out of the way so you can get to the batteries. All right, so after all the screws are removed, that plastic shield actually slides forward and over the front tire. If you really needed to, you could take it all the way off, but I think where it is now will give us enough access to get to the batteries. All right, so there's the battery housing. As you can see, there is a bracket that keeps them in place. There's another one of those uh, uh, Allen screws there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that one, see if we can get these batteries out and swap them. And because everything is designed uh, to be a lot more annoying to deal with than it needs to be, the uh, screw on this particular one, we had to step down to a 5 30 seconds. So it's not the same size as all the uh, this is the ones that held on the shield. Now there's a screw just like this on the other side, so you want to remove both of those so that you can lift up that uh, that metal band to get the batteries out. Okay, so now that both screws are out, this band should slide off the side, which it does. It's a little hung up there. And I'm assuming the batteries will just lift up and out of the way here. Seems like a bit of a tight fit, so we gotta see exactly how to maneuver this. All right, so if you slide the front up and forward, that is still a super tight fit. You kind of have to slide them forward past the where the screw mount is. Um, still getting a little bit hung up in there. Let's see if I can keep coming in the same general direction. It seems to have more room if that gets it out for us. Um, let's see. It does not quite want to come out like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it back into place and see if I can get the wires off first. There we go. Alright, so I was able to slide the wires off with my finger. Hopefully that'll give us a little more play to actually get the battery out of there. There seems to be... Um, so, I'll show you when this comes out and explain why this is getting stuck and what you gotta do to fix it. Alright, so as you see on the batteries here, they have those little hooks that are gonna be facing in the direction you're trying to pull. So even if you disconnect the wire, you wanna make sure that the wire doesn't get stuck in there when you're trying to pull it out. So I just reached in and I flipped it over uh, and then the battery came right out. But those, those are just designed to get stuck on stuff. So something to keep in mind when you're trying to get those batteries out. And if you're looking for the type of battery, UB1272i, uh, I guess that is. I actually have replacement batteries. Um, I picked these up on Amazon, a pair of them. I think they're around 30 bucks. I will post a link in the description. Now I'm going to try to slide the new battery in place without actually connecting it first and then connect it afterwards. It seems to be where the most room exists. Just steering out of the way. I'm going to push these wires up. And slide this under. And now it's kind of a tight fit to actually get in there. Push this on, but it can be done. There's one. My big head out of the way so you guys can see and there's two all right so I turned the bike around we're basically gonna 
going to repeat the identical process on this side. So we want to reach in here with our finger and slide these connections off. Not too bad. The uh, little rubber casings are certainly been eaten up, but just kind of get your finger up as close as possible to it. Maybe over the top a little. Give that a little push. Not rolling the bike away from you. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to try the same thing. Kind of get the wires above those little prongs so they don't get caught. And then the battery pops right out. Okay, same thing except this time with a barking chihuahua in the background. Adds to the drama. And uh, make sure we get our wires back where we're expecting them to be. Like so. And see, these are helpful. These are actually black and white. This other side, they were both red. That's the one thing when you're taking the wires off on that other side because they were both red. You want to make sure that uh, you remember which was hooked up on which side. So this side makes it easy because they are actually colored properly, but for some reason they weren't on the other side. So, all right. So slide that into place. Reach our fingers in there, and flatten that thing out. Whoops. Go. One connection. Two connection. That should be it. All right. So just as a test, there is the on-off switch on the other side. I'm going to flip it on. I'm going to lift the back tire up off the table and just do a quick test to see uh, whether everything is working. I am, of course, going to charge. Going to plug this thing in and charge it fully before we actually use it. But I just want to make sure that the connections are good. We reach back here, we flip on the switch. I do see it light up red, that's a good sign. Get that tire up off the ground. See if I can get that where you can actually see it. You know what, let me adjust the camera a little bit. We'll look right back there, so hopefully my hand won't be in the way. There we have it. Works pretty good. All right. All right, so then we just need to put the uh, battery band back on. Make sure those are nice and secure. Then we can put the uh, plastic case on and we'll be good to go. And of course, this is gonna go on the same way that it came off. We're gonna slide it over the front, back into position, and put the screws on. So that's all there is to it. Uh, have it on charge right now. Uh, one word of caution, make sure that you turn uh, the bike off when you're not actually riding it. I did when I was swapping it around to uh, get the screws on the other side, I put my hand on the, uh, the throttle and actually uh, set the rear wheel in motion. So you just wanna be safe on that front, make sure it's off and, and be aware how easy that is to do. So also uh, keep in mind that I picked up this razor at a flea market. I got it for $30. The batteries cost an additional $30. I'll leave a uh, link in the description if you'd like to pick up those yourself. Um, and this is a bike that retails for around $300 new. So it was quite a steal. Uh, I have picked up several razors in the same way, either at a flea market or a garage sale, and I've never run into any, any of them that needed anything more than a battery. So there's definitely some opportunity out there to get steals on these, these types of, uh, of uh, vehicles, toys, whatever you want to call them. So uh, that's all the time we have for now. Please like the video if you found it helpful. Share your comments below, good, bad, or otherwise. And hey, if you'd like to see future videos that just might help you with the next project or challenge that you're facing, please subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon if you'd like to receive alerts when future videos are uploaded. Until next time, this is The Average Dan. Thank you.